So recently there have been bills introduced across the country and here in Wisconsin that would limit the participation of transgender students in sports. What are your views on these bills? And do you have any proposals that would specifically support LGBTQIA plus students? And um, we will start with Dr. Kerr on this one. Thank you, Rory. This is a very timely question. Um, first of all, I think we need to acknowledge all of our kids and take care of them um, and accept them for who they are. And that's why our schools are so important to developing character education programs that, does, that do just that. You know, our schools have to be a place where kids feel a sense of belonging. And so I think it's important that we recognize who our children are and uh, what we can do to best support them as they navigate life. Um, but to answer your question, um, I was a girl of Title IX. I participated in sports all my life and I still participate in sports today. I was a collegiate athlete at Valparaiso University. I played basketball and field hockey and I wanna play against other biological women and girls. I don't think it's fair uh, to have competition that um, does otherwise. I know there's some other bills that um, other legislators have um, um, provided so far that maybe would look at a co-ed type uh, situation and I would be more supportive of that. But I do realize that there is a need for kids to be themselves and participate in as many school activities as possible, but I wanna make sure it's done um, fairly. Thank you. Dr. Underly? Yeah, I, you know, I think that that's rather transphobic, honestly, um, what Dr. Kerr just said. You know, kids, kids need to feel safe in their schools. They need to feel seen and heard. And we need to enforce anti-bullying and anti-harassment in our schools and, you know, and in our society. And, you know, um, really that statement was rather... Um, it, it's transphobic. I'll just say it like that. Um, we need to make sure that all our LGBTQ plus students are are safe, um, that they are respected, that they have um, representation in their schools, um, so that they have staff who um, you know see and hear them, or maybe um, you know look like them as well. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just taken a little bit aback by that. Trans kids are kids. That's, you know, plain and simple. And they deserve, you know, they, de they deserve to feel safe and welcome in our school. Thank you. And just to follow up, can you both clarify um, whether you support trans girls playing on girls sports teams? As, as I said before, no, I don't. Um, I participate in sports and I know that many parents are concerned about this kind of thinking. They want their girls participating against other girls and it has nothing to do with transphobia. This was not even an issue years ago. You know, in Brown Deer, we, we joyfully accepted all kids where they were. They went to any bathroom they wanted to. There was never these issues uh, like this. And so we gave, we gave kids opportunities that would help excel them as people um, and as good citizens. And so um, I do not support this bill. Trans kids are kids. That's, I'm just going to leave it like that. And yes, I, I would support, um, actually, I would, I do not support the bill is what I want to say. I, I, you know, I support girls playing girls sports because trans kids are kids. All right, one more follow up, Dr. Kerr. Um, do you support other gender affirming um, policies such as allowing children to self identify their pronouns, their names and use the bathrooms of their choice? Yeah, that's happening right now. Um, but does that have to be taught in schools? I don't think so. I, I do think that, um, you know, this is important for our kids to realize this is the society and the world they're growing up in. Um, but if that's what they want to do, I think that's um, uh, fine, voluntarily fine. But I don't think we have to mandate it on kids or teachers or adults. Okay, and I will hand it off to Scott. 